Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we're here in Yggdrasil, or the space between spaces, whichever term you prefer. Personally, I feel like the latter is probably far more full of shapeshifters, but no one listening to this will actually get that reference, so uh, maybe we should just go back through the door to uh, Moosebeheim then. I suppose one or two people might get it. <laughs> Did I actually die that time? No, I still have the resurrection stone. comic book once where someone had a robot arm and uh, they used it to uh, lift a uh, car off of an injured person only to find themselves terribly injured after the fact without realizing it you know the adrenaline wears off and it says oh god oh god my back and uh, it turned out that even though this you know super durable robot arm had the strength to lift the car Easily, effortlessly, the strength and the uh, the durability, the human body it was attached to didn't quite match up. So the uh, it, it was starting. You know, it's a good thing they put the car down when they did because the arm was starting to get torn away from their back muscles. You know, so it was a sort of a wake up call. You know, you gotta think these things out. You know, having a, a robotic arm doesn't make the rest of you that durable. And I bring this up, this nonsense, because I think to myself. With the things I have seen Kratos lift over his head, his body would have to be so densely designed and so durable that I'm not actually sure wading through that lava would kill him. I mean, yes, heat and uh, pressure and uh, weight are, two, you know, are different things, but... Hot damn. Like, if Haraslayer had bitten down as hard as he could, would he have actually been able to chew through Kratos? Or would he have just, at best, suffocated him by p compressing his chest and uh, not letting him uh, breathe in? Surtur's hidden trials have opened. The summit awaits. Here they come. I'm ready. No, I don't think he liked that very much. I think he liked that even less. Yeah, yeah, I just had to wait to confirm. I can't take damage in this one. I guess I should put an attack on... Ah, uh, Storm of the Elks. It's nice area damage. I don't know. Lightning damage on it, too. Because it arcs. What are we doing wrong? 
Alright, that time I shouldn't have gone into a runic attack as the guy was approaching me to attack, but... Other than that, keeping my distance and, uh... One more time! Okay, I'm all right. that. Runner. I feel like I was on the right track with that. Maybe I should just do this. That felt badass, I'm not gonna lie. You hold this. Ooh. God damn it, what did I just say? The two of them. Like at the same damn time. Running and we're running and we're running. Find you, watcher. No, he missed. He just straight up missed. Who would like to try next? Is it you? My turn. No, oh, hey. and moving and moving! Guys and the uh, and the soul devourer at the end. More behind you. Did Mimir just say more behind you because the camera was pointing away from them? That's an unusual amount of knowledge on his part. Kratos was facing them. I think. Get the bomb. Well, it's doing minuscule damage. I guess because it is lightning. Oh. That's what I was missing. Ready, get it, get it, get it. 
Get it? No! Why can't we do this? With some better gear help? Fuck. This will be the uh, seventh attempt since the jump cut. Again. Why not? Still a lot of trouble around here. Everybody bunch in together and say cheese. Because now you're a fondue. Come on! We're the two speed guys then. Thank you, Blades. Now may God have mercy on our souls. I didn't know that was an option. Oh. Yes! Never even made it this far. No key of the Another first. No key of the first? Man. If I'd known it would just be the first three I did, I would have done... Uh... Man.
I mean, it would be special items, wouldn't it? stuff out of it, and I know I did it. Oh, I should check on the timer, since I don't know how long that went. Okay, here's me checking out Blast of Hephaestus, and uh, then upgrading it, just for completion's sake. Alright, as far as fuck you goes, that's pretty good. Uh, increases the size of the blast and inflicts a small amount of stun damage. Also, plus one, plus, da plus one damage, burn, and stun. Okay, that should about do it. Gotta head back up. I'm rather enjoying uh, the, the blast of Hephaestus, the hot air from the forge. We did, uh, two, three, and four. Yeah, I upgraded it to the second level without thinking of the fact that I was doing so during an elevator sequence. that uh, jump cut to uh, I'll insert the uh, the bits of me upgrading the thing. I don't know. Let me show off what it looked like before I upgraded it. And on the subject... Actually on the subject... Uh, oh no, no, it would be here. Blast of Hephaestus. Uh, greatly increases the size of the blast and the amount of stun damage inflicted. Plus one damage, plus one burn, plus one stun. Delicious. So this would be the last proper one, and then the sixth one was just a Valkyrie the first time. And since it recharges the things immediately, let's see what this looks like. Ahem. I apologize for hitting the wrong one. Ooh, it sounded even more like a punch in the face. It begins. Here we go. Draw guard behind you, brother. That's ten whole seconds. I think you can have that. You guys can have...
target. Not gonna be a problem. Oh, hell no. Uh, literally in one of those cases. in the stone. I am... I'm not missing the stone. I'd already done it in that run? I didn't... Oh, whatever, man. Whatever the case was, I didn't notice what happened, and, uh... We have to end the video anyway. And I feel better about this one than some of the other ones I've done lately, I must say. Fucking move aside, Surtur, there's a new king of Muspelheim. So tune in to the next episode of Let's Play God of War to see him ripping these guys a new one, no matter how fast they make him do it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you then. Later!